Hey, what's up, Skabalker? We're the Brad Jason Creation Films, and today we're taking a quick look at this product from Axoon, and you might be able to relax and finally see Mo. So we'll take a quick look at this Axoon Simo in just a second, but first, some housekeeping. Axoon did send this product to me for review, but no money has changed hands and they had absolutely no say in the review whatsoever. So if you love puppies, subscribe. So this is the Axoon Simo, and well, it is a fairly simple device that allows you to turn your iPhone, your iPad, into an HDMI recorder monitor. Now, right off the bat, we don't want to confuse the recording with something that's better than or even close to internal recording. It's almost certainly not. It can record using H.264 at 1080p at up to 60 frames a second at a max bit rate of 30 megabits. So, math. Math. <laughs> But it's nice if you want to be able to record from, say, the camera showing the camera menus, or let's say you filled up your SD card and forgot to bring more, and well, in a pinch, you could record on your camera using your iPhone, using the SEMO. But just don't forget your SD cards. Come on, let's, let's put a little effort in here, people. So let's talk about what this is pretty reasonable at doing. And, that is using your iPhone as a monitor with some nice tools. First, you have monochrome. You can single out red, green, or blue channels. There's a customizable histogram. You can load LUTs. You can mirror the image. There's a zebra that's adjustable. There's false color mode. There's a waveform monitor, audio meters, on-screen markers with adjustable opacity. There is focus assist with selectable colors and strength. You could grab a screenshot and you can overlay that screenshot or a still to match your footage. You can overlay a grid and well, change its color and thickness. And there's an anamorphic de-squeeze as well. And that's about all I've got to say about that. To use it, plug in your HDMI from your camera Connect the USB-C cable to the Lightning or the USB-C on your iPhone or iPad. Pop in a Sony MPF battery and uh, install the app and open it. And well, it's fairly straightforward. It's meant to be a simple device. It also, well, it's small enough to use as, well, a backup in case something happens to your primary monitor. It's really cheap and, well, worth just throwing in your bag for emergencies. Or if you're like me and you want to record, say, on camera screens, then it'll work great for that too. Now, if you already have a backup monitor, then this may not do much of anything for you. So, what are the pros and cons? Pros, it's cheap. It costs 179 bucks and that's pretty cheap insurance. It has some nice tools and it's small and light. It doesn't take up much space in your bag. What are the cons? 30 megabits max recording bitrate almost certainly limited to the USB 2 lurking around in the uh, lightning ports of, come on Apple. Uh, 1080p, 60 frames a second max resolution and frame rate. And it's only available for iOS currently. So that's it. That's the quick review of the Axoon Simo. You don't need to spend a lot of time talking about something simple and easy. It's kind of speaks for itself. So what do you think of the CMO? Let me know below. And uh, also, if you enjoy reviews and my other videos, please consider becoming a channel member. It really helps the channel greatly. Subscribing and giving it a thumbs up is another great way to help as well. Or you could use an affiliate link to a product down below. You know, the products you want to buy anyway from great retailers you want to buy like B&H and Amazon. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. <music>